Hello guys, KP Shamino here with another guide and this time it's a guide for the trophy white bass in Michigan. So at the start it was a little bit uh, yeah, problematic this fish, not problematic but it was such a small fish. But then once of a sudden uh, we had like uh, a trophy and it's 1.7, 1.8 kilograms. So today I was streaming a lot of guys were helping me uh, with uh, yeah, discovering some new stuff and, and with info and we were like fishing at some moment with five to six people. So thank you very much for that guys. Two guys uh, especially, I want to make some attention for those guys because they were fishing with me in Colorado too. So that's uh, Ned himself and that GT Met 83. So those guys are streamers too. So go to check out their stream uh, if you want. Just check them out. They are doing a lot of fishing planet too and stuff like that. So I think they, might, they will appreciate it if you guys yeah, have a check at their stream. Okay, now back for the trophy uh, white bass. So I'm going to do this film into two films. So I'm just going to do first the bobber section and then I'm going to do the lure section. Why? Because this fish is eating practical everything. And it's it's not hard to test it, but you need to have some time. And that's, that's a little bit a problem because you can test like one hour that bait, another hour that bait. But there are like 20 baits. So therefore I'm going to split up this movie. So what you are going to see now is the bobber fishing. Then there is like a small uh, brief uh, movie in the movie. I know it's a little bit ridiculous movies in movies. Uh, but me catching a trophy uh, white bass with the bobber. So first of all Michigan you need to go to from dawn till dusk. And if you come here. In the area you need to watch to the right so this is the sweet spot for the bass the white bass so you can throw all the way to here between let's say 40 meters and a little bit further because they are sitting there in the reeds and that's where you need to throw so you just need to throw like this and then you need to wait of course okay so that's it. I'm now a little bit outside the time frame. I think I got the time frame a little bit figured out for a cloudy day. Uh, I'm now going to fish on a sunny day with uh, yeah lures. So that's how you need to throw and then you need to wait of course. But I'm now a little bit outside the time frame. So let's have a look to the equipment. Let's have a look at the net. Otherwise the movie is going to be way too long. So let's have a look. So I'm reeling in at the moment. Okay, let's go to inventory. So I'm fishing with the Nero 319, the Extraminator 5500. That's way too heavy for this fish. Uh, so the Brad 0.18, I'm fishing with the oval uh, bobber. And that's really strange because I think I did a mistake with the chubby. But it doesn't matter a lot. 40 meters is not far. So, And I'm fishing with the hook for uh, O. So why the 4 O hook? Okay, we started fishing here with a hook 1, a hook 1 O. It works really good for the white bass normal. But then at some certain point, if you know where they are sitting, you need to find like a hook that works uh, the best to get the trophy. And we tested the 3 O, we had normals, we tested the 4 O, we had a lot of trophies, but we had a lot of normals too, but not so much as the 3 O. Then uh, one of the guys tested the 5 O and he didn't get anything anymore. So that means that the 4 O hook is the best. You are going to get a lot of small bites, but if something bites, uh, you will see it's most of the time the trophy white bass. Okay, uh, I'm fishing on a depth from 120 centimeters you need to go really deep for this bass i was a little bit surprised that it was so deep i started at 100 that works 120 it works i saw a guy 180 it works but if you go a little bit uh, less deep you see that you are going to get a lot less bites so 120 100 is, is more than enough for this fish okay just a simple setup uh, let's go to the net because the net there are a lot of fish in it you will see so a lot of uh, 
yeah, white bass, and that's really good because the guide is about white bass, otherwise it was, will be silly. So I started here with uh, red worms. Red worms was not so good. I got a lot of normal fish, but the main problem is I didn't get a trophy with it. So yeah, it's I would not fish with red worms here because there is a thing a lot better than shrimps. Shrimps was every time a trophy with four O hook. Crickets was really good. Uh, there was a guy uh, that got with the shiners uh, a trophy white bass too. But there is one major problem. There is northern pike too. So you're going to get yeah a lot of northern pike. So I would not suggest it. I was now testing with the leeches. I had a lot of bite. But I didn't have time anymore in the sweet hour. To test a little bit more. But I think that leeches can work too. Grasshopper work too. Uh, a guy got one on a grasshopper. But if I would suggest here. Just go with the shrimps. Or go with the crickets. And you will get a lot of trophy white bass. So it's not a complicated fish. It's a cool fish. Because it gives a really good fight. So that was it. Uh, let me think for part 1. I just need to say. He gives 28 currency. And 165 experience. That's a nice amount of experience for only 2 kilograms of fish. So, uh, yeah, a cool fish. I think not a lot of people uh, fish on this fish. But I hope after this movie, some guys are going to get him. Because it's really fun. So that was uh, part 1. Now you guys are going to see uh, the bobber fishing. The catch. And then you guys are going to see the lure fishing. Okay guys, part 2 of the trophy white bass and it was unbelievable. It was really unbelievable. I, I didn't saw that in Fishing Planet. You guys see it in the chat too. The amount of white bass that I got. So what did I do? I started with, uh, with the crankbait. And I had right away, I had like uh, yeah, a trophy. And then I went to the best jig 5G20. Yeah, that was only best jig that I got at the moment. So it's possible that you need to use a little bit higher with the 3 or a 4 -o. But the activity was insane. Every cast I got like a white bass. I got now 34 kilograms of white bass in like, I think, 4 or 5 hours in game. So you guys will see it in my net. I, I wanted to fish an all day, but it was so much fish. It was unbelievable. I'm, I'm very amazed. I don't think that that bobber fishing is even suitable for this fish. Just get your best jig on and start throwing. You, you will get every throw. You will get like a white bass. Of course, if you go a little bit higher, probably more trophies than me. Because my 2-0 hook is a little bit small. So what you need to do is, uh, you just need to come over here. And be sure that you are standing a little bit to the right. That you... Got like a little bit more angle in the sweet zone. So what you need to do is first I'm going to 5 o'clock. Because I didn't have a trophy here. And I think from 5 to 8 you got trophies. So you just need to throw. Throw to the reeds. Uh, okay. So you don't are going to make a lot of distance. But that's not really necessary. And then what works the best is like a lift and drop. It works so good. I was really amazed how it works. So get your uh, reel speed at 3. Just reel in. You you uh, do a strike. You lift. You reel in. You do a strike. You lift. And that's a lift and a drop. But it works. Yeah. Like I said. It's it's like. Yeah. Ridiculous. In, in the sweet hour. You just sometimes need to cut. Cut your line because they are bite in. I think even this is trophy. So right in the movie, it's a, or is it a normal one? I'm not sure because I'm so heavy equipped at the moment because I want to get. Yeah, here is a trophy one, so I can do another throw. So just the same, you throw in and yeah, do you do a lift and a drop? So I throw in. It's 45 meters. Stop at 20 meters reeling in because at 20 meters you will see my net. You are going to get smallmouth bass. So let's do the same again. 
So rail in a little bit and then you lift with the strike. You strike again, you wait. Strike again, you wait. That's a lift and drop. So rail in with speed 3, then you strike. Yeah, that's a bite. Yeah, here we go again. It's unbelievable. As I as I said to you guys, it's the the white bass, every white bass, every cast you got a white bass. So this is a normal, I think. So yeah, that's how you need to go. Get the best jig, throw at the, the spot that I just showed. Do a, a lift and a drop uh, presentation and you guys will be okay. So let's go to the setup. And then I'm going to do the time frames. Time frames, as always, under the video too. So uh, my candy can 217 because I like my candy rod. Uh, the Hornet Swarm 6000 but you don't need to go that heavy with it. Fluoro 0.2. I got the best jig 5G to O but of course you can go a little bit higher if you want to get rid of all those normal uh, white bass. Uh, yeah and that's it. I cannot say more about it. Let's go to the net. I got more than 40 fish, of course, a lot of smallmouth bass too. So try to prevent the 20 meter mark reel back in. But then, yeah, the trophy, it's, it's unbelievable. Check this out. Early morning, morning. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's really fun because I got 405 currency of white bass in my net at the moment. So you guys can see it. The best jig is OP. Uh, crankbait was really good too, but best jig is way too, too good. Just go with the best jig if you want to go on the trophy white bass. Okay guys, for the time frames, uh, the, the time that I got the trophy in was on a cloudy day, 5 to 10 a.m. and 5 to 8 p.m. On a sunny day, I got 5 to 10 a.m. and 5 to 8 p.m. I guess you can get them in between too, because they are so aggressive. So I think that you can get them. That was a movie, guys. Thanks for watching. Very lovely fish. I had a lot of fun on this fish. Uh, if you like my movie, give me a like. If you like my channel, subscribe, please. And otherwise, have fun with the white bass trophy. Bye-bye.